Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bitsby Trippin. We're going to get into an interesting topic video today. And now this is sponsored by Coinly, just in full disclosure. Reached out to Coinly because I got questions. Their service seemed to be really uh, dialed into a lot more layers deeper when it comes to their interaction and uh, connections to different exchanges. And then the aspects around when it comes to mining and watching, doing a watch address and looking at all of the different types of transactions that are there because there's different approaches to the way you can handle taxes on your obligation some things are deferred, some things are, you know, are mislabeled on some of the software that's out there and looking at how Coinly attacked this and then also has an extension to offer it to tax professionals. If you, you know, hand your crypto stuff over to your accountant and then those tax professionals take it, this helps them get organized. So what I wanted to do is work something out with them to be able to one show you guys the platform and then kind of get access to some of their tutorials and make sure that folks understand this this is a question that i get all the time when it comes in the, to the states but with coinly being able to uh, uh deal with a lot of different jurisdictions not just in the united states but around the world we have a world-based audience so um, you can see right over here all of the different sites and places when it comes to revenue, treasury, uh, IRS, uh, you know, uh, from the various countries around the world that they support and try to align to the regulation side of it. So what I want to do is kind of give you guys uh, a connection to seeing this and being able to understand they have some amazing crypto guides when it comes to your taxes here. Let's go ahead and roll this. I want to see your guys' feedback. You know, this is, a, this is an important subject for folks, especially now that are getting into mining and some of the newer folks. This is the time to kind of look at this and get this stuff right. Let's take a look. All right, guys, we are logged into Coinly now. Now this you can use with a normal Gmail account or just make your own account. And then you'll come into this dashboard. Now this dashboard will be empty when you first come in and you'll have to go up to the very top under wallets and you'll have to go in and add a wallet directly. You can add in various exchanges, blockchains, here's exchanges, here's blockchains, wallets, and services. So you can bring in, if you're a miner and you're watching this video and you use NiceHash, you can actually import all of the transaction history right in from there. If you're using BlockFi or Celsius, if you're doing borrowing against your crypto and you want to keep track of all that in and out, you actually can see all this. Now, the good thing about using this service is you can get a common view for your entire operation into this, where you can import just the transaction history through a CSV file. Like if you go to the blockchain and you just choose a particular token like Ethereum here, you can actually go in there and you know put a public address for it to start searching all those different transactions. Or if you use exchanges, you could come in here and use an exchange. You can, If you have a Coinbase, you can log in and do an API share. Now APIs, people get confused about APIs. APIs allow an information exchange between your secure account and and, you know, a third party like this where you can just share the read only data. So when you're going in and you're setting up and you're choosing like Coinbase Pro, Coinbase Pro is going to have a set of APIs under the settings that you could create an API key and then you can define that it's read only. You would import all of those con all that content and you would hit OK up here at the top and then you would have, you know, what your transaction state is. Now I took a couple large addresses and moved them in here and we can see, you know, there's over 9,000 transactions transactions in this particular Bitcoin big address here. And you can see all the different inputs and profit that is from the moment that it was sent and then whatever the relative cost basis was uh, and net change. So then you can see all of these, you know, transactions. There's over a thousand of them here. I can click on this one and go back and look at, you know, when these came in on what day, you know, so July 31st, 2021 here as an example, and it's going through that. So now I can go back to dashboard. And I can see what we're looking at here. So in this particular uh, series of wallets and stuff that's pulled in here. You can see the value right now at 11.31 million. It's up eight and a half percent from its base cost basis. You can see this breakdown here because we have a couple different addresses here. We have the 187 Bitcoin.
point and then we have the 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 btc and this particular one with 81 so there's two different addresses in here you can see that allocation and then we got ethereum in here with it showing a little down on that address where you can see the gains there in total about 13,000 under on that 140 ethereum there and on this one here you can see you know the basic like if i go into one of these addresses here you can kind of see what their current value is and then all the different transactions by you know there's 997 transactions there's 97 93 deposits and 204 withdrawals and you can feel like click the withdrawal you can see every time that it was pulled out now this is just showing you a lot of that history and then making an assumption that those were either cells or you created a an event that could be taxable so this this gives you it's only as smart as you let it be with regards to you may have to adjust your transactions to say hey no that got moved to a different wallet if you bring both of those in it'll see the in and the out and it'll do that that adjustment for you so you know you don't have taxable income now if i go over to tax reports here for the 2021 year it shows that the gains for the 2021 because i brought in some addresses that have a lot of activity so far this year which this isn't the taxable year 2022 in 2021 there was actually a negative 1650 for that period for these particular addresses that i pulled in if i pulled in a lot of a trade activity that happened in 2021 we would see potential taxation that would have to be done there um, on that and maybe in a later video we can go through and pull some 2021 activities and and then you guys can kind of see that but i wanted to show you kind of how you can get around and navigate this and add in with all these different inputs here it's a it's a key service to be able to kind of correlate all of your activities and then even if you're not going to use this initially for your tax piece just being able to pull everything into one view and then see what your true cost basis is is actually a really nice tool a lot of people do this in excel right now and try to figure out where they're at in the stack and you'll get to see it across all kinds of different tokens here. This is the, you know, really the, what Coinly is bringing to bear here for you on this and it allows you to really get a good view from what's sent, what's received, what your expenses, what your unrealized gains, what your basic cost basis is and where you're trending against all of your different transactions over a period of time. All right, hopefully you guys liked that and I think it helps people get that, that question answered of like who can actually help me with this How's the software? How's the dashboarding part work? And, you know, have that extension when you're trying to remain compliant with your tax obligation for your particular country. So let us know down in the comments below if this video was helpful. Thanks again. Make sure you're liking and subscribing and we'll catch you guys on the next one.